What's going on guys, it's Rengen Militia, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Now you may have already noticed, but I got a brand new mic, just got it today in the mail. It is a headset, so it sounds a lot better than my previous mic, which is an open mic, uh, which means, you know, it just sits there on my table, and, you know, it, it picks up so much background noise. So, I have a headset mic, which, you know, is made for only one person to talk, so... It should sound a lot better, even with my air conditioning uh, going right next to me. I think it. I don't even think you guys can hear it. So let's get into coding. Now, what I want to talk about today are dictionaries, and dictionaries are pretty similar to lists. I guess you could say I kind of skipped over it, maybe because normally, you know, typically you do it when you do lists or you know right after. But the main difference between a list and a dictionary is a dictionary has pairs of values. And what that means is it has a key and it has a value. And a key is what you look up and then the value is what you get. So let's say we have a dictionary, right? One of the, you know, like an actual dictionary that you probably think of, you know, that has words in it and with definitions. So let's say my key is mouse, right? What is a mouse? And I'm thinking computer mouse here, not like the, the animal, but mouse. So my key is mouse and then I look, um, I look, what am I saying here? Oh yeah, so I look it up in the dictionary and it says, you know, apparatus used to navigate the computer and clicking, whatever, you know what I mean? The definition of what a mouse is. And that would be the value of a mouse. So again, when we look up mouse in the dictionary, we get the value of its definition. And for another example, we can do a phone book so let's say we have the dictionary phone book so it's gonna be very similar when we're writing a list and when we're writing a dictionary but the only main difference in the uh, in the syntax besides the pairs is the are, are the cur curly brackets rather than what we use for the list which are right here we use the curly brackets so let's go what what is our first guy let's go John Jones and again, this is very good for pairing things. So we want to pair John Jones with his phone number. So when we look up John Jones, we know his phone number. So let's put a semicolon after that and make sure we have John Jones in in um, what are they called? Quotation marks to make sure that it is a string. This Python will get all well, hey, what is this? But yeah, just make sure. So now we have our colon and we can put our value in so it's going to be 6105555555 all right so recap we have pb name of the the dictionary just pb for phone book equals curly bracket john jones in quotation marks in that john jones is our key and semicolon to tell the computer hey now we're gonna show you our value for John Jones and it's six one zero five 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 I think that's the correct amount of fives so there we go we have our very short phone book but a uh, working phone book and oops my bad sorry about that let me uh, turn that on silent uh, but I'm just so popular I get text all the time uh, but uh, what was I saying oh yeah so we want to print or we want to find John Jones's, you know, his phone number. So let's go PB, because that's the name of the dictionary. And then we actually are going to use these brackets here that we use for lists, and we're going to type in our key. So John Jones. You want to find out John Jones's phone number. And hit enter. 610-555-5555. Bam. We have John Jones's phone number. And let us let's add one let's add one All right. so let's say John Jones's brother Bob Jones gets a phone we're going to do similar to what we did up here but we're going to actually add a key and its value so we here we have John Jones but we also want to add Bob Jones so pretty much it's gonna look almost the same as what we did up there like I just said so let's make sure everything's in quotes here PB equals Bob Jones don't, don't hit enter yet though and then we're going to go equal and this is where we're going to put in the value so let's put in his phone number 610-555-5551 bam there's his phone number now if we go pb bob jones and bada 
Bing. His phone number six one zero five 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 one. All right, so I think that's it for this episode. What I want to do is I I'll show you a couple more functions that you can use with dictionaries, like the remove and the length uh, functions there. But I don't want to make this one too long, so I'll save that for the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.